Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to another Brick in the Mall. Today, we are going to be doing a little bit of expansion and hopefully starting work on turning this section here into its own little unique mall complex type thing. And to begin with, I'm going to completely tear out what I did at the end of the last episode. Well, at least I'm going to wait until uh, the shop closes at what, what time is it? Like 10 p.m. tonight? Uh, so let's go double speed to speed things up and let's get things sorted. And uh, while we wait, there goes the changeover, uh, we'll go through a comment I picked out from the last episode. And it's my man Cam who has a plan. Cameron Jackson, I think you sh should make stores after viewers and comments, i.e. Cam's Metics for cosmetics. Good plan, Cam. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of had a plan to do something similar like that uh, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but, yeah, you know what, we're, we're going to do something like that. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to do it today, uh, since, you know, we're trying to get the clothing store open. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, we also don't even have the restrooms. Oh, we do have the restrooms researched. That's fine. Oh, we don't have the restaurants researched yet. That's right. Uh, but we'll get sorted. We'll get sorted. It'll be cool. It'll be fine and dandy. Okay, so waiting until the store shuts. We've just got, like, two hours to go. Not long left. Let's see how our store sh copes with the, uh with the closing. See if everyone gets served. Looking good. Couple people left. Late stragglers. There we go. Everyone got served. That's awesome. There's always people that come in after you shut. <laughs> okay, so I want to expand the store this way a little bit. Like so. Um, and the reason why I noticed there's some weird like glitches go on with the graphics, like with walls and stuff, because there's not technically foundations under it. It's the thing I do, kind of like how I did in uh, Prison Architect, where I would put a zone in like that, and the bits of wall here wouldn't get built in, they'd just be floor, but technically there's no foundation under this wall still, if that makes any sense. I'll try and explain it a little bit better later on, uh, but for now it's fine. Uh, let us put in a new double door here, and then we will remove objects and walls. These ones. Okay, the store is about to open for another day, but it's fine. Let's get rid of this section. I think that's fine. We'll just extend it over here a little bit. Okay, so bound marks sh shall remain in action for another day yet again. Uh, we will build our toilets in, though, or our restrooms. Uh, I actually want to put a little restroom in here. It is going to be a tiny one. You'll see why uh, in a moment. I think that's actually what I want to do. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, except we're not going to put a, a wall in there. Because we're going to get a singular door and put it there. And let's get our restrooms. Uh, so we need sinks and toilets. So we're just going to plop like three sinks there. Because I think the sinks are decoration. Like, they don't actually use sinks, but they do use the toilets. So we'll put them in there, and then we will assign this as a rest -a room. Okay, let's get rid of that little bit of zoning there. <laughs> I'm using, like, SimCity and City Skylines terms, like zoning and plop, I realize. Uh, but yeah, the restrooms... Oh, queues are full? That's interesting. The restrooms mean that our customers will actually stay in the store longer, uh, which is more important when you have more stores open, because... Generally, what they tend to do is come in the store, get what they want, and then leave. But if there's other stores around, like uh, a clothing store, which is what I want to get into hopefully soon, then uh, they will say, okay, let's pop to the restroom, grab a bite to eat, and then go to a clothing store. Kind of like you would do in a real mall. Uh, and that's what I really like about this game. It's getting close to the another end of the day. We're actually in the negatives money. Uh, mainly because we spent more money than we had. That's, a, again, I think a, a thing which I wish they would implement is you pay for stuff when you place where you want them to go rather than when they get placed by the builders. Uh, we're quite low on money, actually. I did want to flick some of this around because uh, we've got some unused space down here. I was going to basically drag uh, this oops, this section here down and spread it out a bit. So these four tills would have seven Q tiles and those two tills would remain at six. Uh, but we don't have the money yet. We, we'll probably get enough money uh, in the next day. So let's speed through and see if we can spot anything else that could be wrong. Um, 
for example, the project on display has expired. Oh, because we don't have any stockists. Um, bound Mart staff. Oh, they, they just went home after it expired. That's fine. Okay. Finish off this day real quick. We are going super speed. I know it's not ideal for uh, commentary and for viewing, but it shall end the day quickly and we will then have money. Probably not enough money uh, in order to buy the new checkouts, which I'm going to be placing in after we sell these ones, which is a shame. Uh, but hey-ho, we may actually get... Oh, if we get a daily profit of over 2,000, actually, that would be awesome. Can we reach that? Will more people stay here because of the toilets and we'll reach a, a £2,000 profit? Or dollar profit? Probably not. I don't know how slowly that's going up. I don't know. We've got we got six, we got got six. five hours left of the day and only 600. Oh, we, we could do this. Although business does slow down towards the end of the day. Come on. Come on, just a little bit more. Go on, cashiers. Work your puny little hands off. That's over 2,000, but don't forget, we still got to pay salaries after they leave. Looks like it's going to be good. We're 400, 500 into it. Boom. That's going to be good to go at midnight. Easy. We're not going to spend more than $400 on um, wages there. There we go. Nice one. New objective. 5,000 profit in one day. Okay, so quickly, let's uh, grab... Why am I in there? Build... Uh, remove objects. I want to remove these four and also this doorway here. Reason being is because I want to put uh, the doorway. Oh, I thought I thought for some reason the cinema stuff was uh, unlocked. I want to put the doorway uh, here for now. Uh, you'll see why. Um, well, I'll show you why. <laughs> it's because I want to start setting this up to be a little more. Uh, so I'm going to put. That like that. That's why I left this bit sort of unmarked. This is going to be our corridor. Okay, and then once that door goes, we can put it back in. Still got like 10,000, so that's fine. Actually, those double doors cost 1,000 each, so I think I'm going to wait a little bit. Um, and then there. Okay, and then we need two irregular shelves, uh, which would be two spaces lower, or one space lower than that one. I think I should be fine to go now. Uh, and then... Wait, oh, that's an order counter, that's why. Well, a checkout counter. Oop, bit of zoom funkiness going on there. Okay, cool. So we've got our checkouts back in. Uh, I believe these ones were detergents. Oh, you'll see that this doesn't update unless I, like, sign something. And then it's like, oh, actually, you don't have tooth care either. So it's a bit strange. Okay, and then we can put that wall back in there as well. So, the beginnings of a mall. We have a tiny corridor. Um, start uh, leading straight into the toilets and into our bound mart. Fantastic. Our staff are in for yet another day of grueling hard work. And we shall get this party started. Now, how much money will it cost for me to do this? 27600 That's a little bit more than I can afford right now. Um, <laughs> we shall have to wait until we pass some more achievements. Uh, 100 customers on site. You know, unlocking the road network gets so many customers in. Like, you're parking basically quadruples, or the, the amount of cars coming in raises by an exponential amount. It's insane how much it goes up by. Um, I do want to sort of start planning um, where this road would go. I think it would go... Or the wall would go about there, so I think I need to get rid of this parking section right here, uh, and then bring a road down. So I kind of want to start. To, wait, I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to actually put that bit of wall in. Jeez. Okay. That way we've sort of got our boundary marks for our the rest of our mall. I think. Wait, it still keeps. The, why does it still keep the tile? Is it because it's technically a foundation? Because it's technically a foundation that... Ooh! Maybe that's how you can get flooring outside. You have to lay a foundation and that... Huh. Let's try that. Uh, foundation. Oh, you can't because it's so small. That kind of sucks. They really need to... Like I said last time, they need to add the options for being able to do stuff outside. Basically more decorative stuff. But also, they need to fix the whole... 
uh, ATMs and such only have a decorative purpose. They're not functional. They really need to do something with that. I know that's part of the bigger plan and the grand scheme of things, but they, they should sort that out. <laughs> like, how hard can it be, right? He says, never designing or coding a video game or anything like that in his life ever. Sure. Um, we've nearly got our clothing supply, which is great. I kind of want to figure out where my clothing store will go. You, tell me what else they would come in extremely handy. Um, you know what? I don't think I wanted the road there. I think I wanted the road over one more. Would be a planning mode. So kind of like, again like prison architects. So you can plan where you wanted walls and objects and stuff. That would go down super well. Okay. But let's see. It's going to be a new work day. How much did we get yesterday? 2,000. I read the gross profit there. Um, and I was like, we got 4,000? That was insane. Okay, how many sales did we have yesterday? Around right about 410. It was exactly identical to the one we had the day before. So judging by that, we should get a 10 grand bonus in two days' time. It's fantastic. We don't currently have more than 50 products to sell, which kind of stinks. Well, technically we do. I just don't stock them. Uh, so I could do that, but I don't want to. I want to really get into um, making money so that I can start building the uh, rainbow lollipop. <laughs> just gonna go here. I have no idea how it's gonna work out yet, but we will see. And oh, we got the clothing supplier, awesome. Actually, let's click to choose what we want. You know what, let's just let it go down the list, because it will do night hours, then electronic store, then we f actually no. Before we do that, I'm gonna research restaurants, uh, because we do wanna put a fast food joint in here, uh, and nothing else currently. Um, so we'll research that. Okay, uh, how much was it? Twenty-seven thousand to build that humongous section. That might be a while. Uh, hundred customers on site because I doubt we're going to do the five thousand pound profit or the hundred customers on site and even the different products until we've got the other store in. Uh, okay, queues are full. There's a surprise. Very surprised considering we added four more queue spaces. I mean, I know it's not a lot. But it's more than we had. I guess what we could do in the interest of keeping things efficient is get rid of these two shells here and maybe put them along this wall. Actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. What have we got in here? Uh, light bulbs and car tools. Again, this is before we rip everything out and like change how it is um, because I do want to reorganize everything like I said before. I've already forgot what it was. Car tools and light bulbs, I think. Two shells there. So yeah, before, um, not too long ago, they you didn't actually have the ability to rotate shelves. Um, basically, they said that they didn't know how to sort of display the stock so that it would show uh, stock levels. Because obviously it's important to see if stock's running low, so you can see if your stock clerks are able to get back and restock in time. But yeah, so they, they've managed to figure that one out, and hey-ho, we now have this sorted. Okay, so that looks a bit wonky. If I could, I would move that shelf as well and have like a... Mm, would I have a door up there? No, I don't think I would. I'm not a big fan of how wonky it looks. Let's just say that. Um, but I don't think there's anywhere else I can put it. Unless I unevenly line this wall. I don't know how I feel about that. Although it wouldn't be uneven, because literally all I'd be doing is shoving these two shelves over one and then putting another shelf in there. I'm kind of tempted to do that. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> um, remove walls and objects. Remove those ones, I suppose. Okay, um, what's that? Like, toilet roll. That's definitely toilet roll in that one. Okay, let's put them in there. We're spending the money on stuff which we don't really need to be spending money on. There's definitely dishes. Or cookware. Yeah, dishes. Okay, then that should update everything else. Toilet paper. And pads and tampons. Tampons. Obviously, I know how to say that word. <laughs> uh, it's just some people don't understand humor. But oh well. Um, okay, things are going quite well. I'm a little bit disappointed we haven't done or made any more progress. Uh, we're going to get an extra ten thousand pounds in a minute. Or dollars. I keep saying pounds. I know. I'm almost tempted just to build. No, I do need to build the entire section. Which is. A Oh, I tell you what we could do. <laughs> we could be really sneaky and we could use the whole um, 
what's it called, like, the fact that money isn't taken from your account. Okay, I will show how broken this quote-unquote feature of the game is, where the money isn't taken from your account until they build it. And I will build the entirety of the rest of my mall section here. And you guys will see... Oh, no, I don't want to do the entirety, because otherwise it's going to take forever for me to get um, money to build my... Uh, my, my stock section here. Oh, we got the bonus though, so that's good. Okay, I will show you just how broken this is. So I cannot build the full 26,000 or 27,000, can I? So what if I literally go to, like, say, 10,000 there, and then just keep building it, like, in sections like this? See, the whole section gets filled in like I dragged it over, except it doesn't, and it won't because it will actually take us into negative monies, which is bad. Uh, and it's also going to break this wall, which I'm not going to be able to um, replace. Actually, I'll tell you what, I could probably replace it as we go, because uh, we've still got the money, because, it's, again, it's being taken away as we um, sell stuff, or as we build it. Um, hang on, whereabouts do I want? Uh, assign storage. Let's get rid of... The oh! We'll delete at least one active zone and fire will cancel. I guess it's got to be stuck to the wall. Oh, okay. I guess we'll keep it stuck to the wall. Uh, so I want a zone there. I want another storage there. And I want another storage there, which won't get built in straight away. I'm just trying to figure out where I want my walls to go. Okay, let's do it like that. Boom, done. Uh, so now let's build walls. Oh wait, it didn't show it. Okay, so where he's standing, I want a wall. Basically. So like that. Cool, it's just I want to keep my stock closed off, obviously. I don't think people can steal. It'd be cool if they did add that feature in the game. But again, look at how broken this is, because we're now going to get this all filled in, and we're still going to have, or we're going to go into negative money. So we're spending money we didn't have. Admittedly, we haven't spent nearly as much as I thought we had, Although I now can't fill in the wall for the restroom. Whoops. <laughs> I should have probably closed that off. Okay, so I thought we were going to go over by like 12,000, but we've actually... <laughs> and I say this, like, so lightly. We've actually only gone over by $8,000. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, our store is a little bit open-end at the moment. We'll call it open planning. Yes, open planning. Uh, but in like four days time we can make all of that money back which is great except people are walking through the toilet oh my goodness like the pathfinding is wacky like they're clearly seeing stuff over here they want to get so they're going through the door through the door at the toilet and then around <laughs> the sinks oh my goodness it just goes to show this this game does need a little bit more work but hey it is in alpha so you know we expect stuff like this Oh yeah, okay, I was figuring out why there's so much space here, it's because I haven't put in everything yet. So the idea, uh, before we end today's episode, is that obviously there's going to be a corridor go along here, and then up here. Uh, I want to put in a clothing store here, and then a fast food store here. Okay, so basically people can get clothes, they can get uh, food and drink, and then they can also get um, more food and drink. But that's going to do it for today, guys. We've been going for nearly 20 minutes, which is pretty insane. I'm going to get going because I want to play the Splatoon 2 Global Test Fire. Probably not going to record any videos of it because I did it with, with, the, with the first Splatoon and it was fun. Uh, but I don't see how this could be any different. So uh, I'm just going to focus on enjoying that. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching this episode of uh, Another Brick in the Mall. And I, of course, will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye, guys.